So, uh, let me, uh, pay attention, so you need to put those away, okay? I'm just, uh, so, like I said, we're going to start talking about uh, sides with even more shapes and a polygon, of course. I have to write all that down. Whoa. A polygon, of course, is uh, a shape that has any number of sides. So we're not just stopping at three. We're going to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on, and on, and on, and on. Okay? And so what we're focusing on today is we know that uh, there are 180 degrees in any triangle. That is something that we have proven before. Does anybody have any memory of how we proved that? No, that was the result that sort of came from that. Um, the way that we proved that long time ago is we started with a plain old triangle. And then we drew a line up here that was parallel to that one, right? Mm -hmm. Remember this a little bit? Yeah. And we said, this angle right here is the same as this angle right here. Why? Because they're opposite, opposite interior, interior angles. Good. And we said, this angle right here is the same as that angle right there for the same reason. Alex, put those away, please. Uh, and then... <laughs> What has to be true about angles 1, 2, and 3 up by the line? They equal 180 because they make a straight line. And since those angles 1, 2, and 3 are the same as these angles 1, 2, and 3, we knew, hey, Alex, uh -huh. we knew that these three angles in this triangle would add up to 180 also. We could do that with any triangle we wanted. So we came up with the triangle sum conjecture, which is that the sum of the angles of any three-sided figure is 180 degrees, OK? Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to extend that to uh, shapes that have more than three sides. So do you have any guesses what the angles in a four-sided figure might add up to? I'm hearing some 360s. Is that what you're going to go with? 360, OK? Can anybody uh, prove that? Yes. Okay, a square, Jacob says, we know that the angles inside of a square would add up to 360 because uh, how many degrees is each one of these angles? Those are all 90. Okay, so 90 times 4 is 360 degrees, but that's only one type of quadrilateral. How would you be able to tell that a quadrilateral that looks something random like that would add up to 180 degrees? Yes. If what? Right, if we had a special case sort of like this here where two of the sides are parallel, but not all quadrilaterals have two parallel sides. We can measure the angles, but how many different quadrilaterals are there in the world? A lot. Would it be possible for us to measure the angles of every quadrilateral? Yeah. No. Uh, it would take a while, yeah. Um, so what we need to do is come up with an argument that we can use for any shape at all. Yes? Put in a 90 degree angle like here or something? Okay, so she says let's make a 90 degree angle right there. Okay, and what do I do with that? We like the idea of a 90 degree angle, okay? And she's on the right track, sort of. The way that we're going to prove this uh, involves drawing an extra line inside the shape. But it's not going to be a 90 degree angle. The line that we're going to draw inside the shape that is going to help us is a line that goes from one uh, vertex to the other one, also known as a diagonal of that shape. Okay. So let me ask you this. 
How many degrees are there in this shape right here? 180. 180. How do you know that? Because, because of the triangle. triangle. Right. We already proved that for every triangle to be true. How many degrees are there in this shape down here? 180. Okay. And so you see where I'm going with this? All right. So 180 plus 180 means that adds up to what? 360. And can I not do that with every single quadrilateral, no matter what? Divide it up into two triangles? Okay. So what I've done is sort of then proven that if you have four sides, then the sum of the angles will be 360 degrees. Okay? And that we're going to say is the quadrilateral sum conjecture, which you should probably write down in your notes. And the quadrilateral sum conjecture says that the sum of the measures of the four interior angles of any quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Okay? So we got 180 for the triangles. And then since the quadrilateral is made up of two triangles, 2 times 180 is 360 degrees for any uh, quadrilateral or four-sided figure. All right? All right, so let's keep uh, moving down this path. Now let's take a look at a uh, pentagon, a five-sided figure. And let's see if we can do the same thing that we did before to figure out what the measures of the angles in any, not just a special one, how many sides do I have there? One, two, three, four, any pentagon. Okay, how can we figure out what those are going to add up to? Yes. Say that one more time. Okay, cut it in half so that it has two quadrilaterals. Hmm. Um, no, what you do is you make so you want to go like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you're going to say since both of those are 360, we're going to end up with 720. That is a very interesting idea. There's something that's wrong with this that I would be super, super excited if someone could see that. Yeah. Okay, but why can't I do this? What's wrong with this argument? Yes. Right, it doesn't connect with another vertex. And so what you've done here is you've created some new angles right here. Okay? That weren't angles in the original shape. Okay? Now this is going to kind of be a little bit too much for some people, but I'm going to just go with it anyway. If we went with what Lizzie said and did two quadrilaterals, then we would say that adds up to 720 degrees, right? How many degrees is this X that will these two extra angles add up to? No, they'll add up to 180 because they'll always make a straight line, right? So if I subtracted off that 180 degrees, then I would have what's left, one, two, three, four, five, those right there, which is 540 degrees, okay? So that will work if you get rid of this extra, these two extra angles that you have created, all right? Now an easier way to see that is to go with what Sarah said, yeah, and I think if we take this line and get rid of that and do the same idea with, uh, triangles instead, okay, but I have, yeah, so there's one diagonal, but that's not enough, right? I mean, I guess I could say here's my quadrilateral and a triangle, right? So I could go 360 plus 180, and that will give me the same answer, but it's easier to see, it's easier to see what's going on if we continue that and make uh, three triangles. Uh, and then since those are each 180 degrees, three times 180 is uh, 540 again. 
Okay, so we can use Lizzie's way, which is a little bit more complicated, but I kind of like that because I've never seen that before in 20 years of teaching. Or we can go um, with a three, no, that's good. That's a really creative approach to the uh, question. I, that's why I like that. Um, or we can continue with the same triangle idea and say this time we're going to be able to get three triangles and three times 180 is 540. Alexander, did you want to add something? Right, then you things start getting really crazy, and so uh, I assume what you're asking about is um, if I went like this to, okay, now, hold on, shh, 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 Jake. Now we have issues because just like in Lizzie's method, if we add up these angles, then we're going to add these on there by accident also. Okay? Now I think if we go from what Lizzie did, that this might still work. Okay? How many triangles do I have now? Five. One, two, three, four, five, right? So you would say five times 180 is 900 degrees. But how many extra degrees did I introduce right there? 360 all the way around, so we could subtract 360 from that, and that would be yet another way to show that it's 540, okay? So that's also an interesting uh, perspective to look at, okay? All right, but no matter how you do it, you still come up with 540 degrees for any pentagon. So that is our pentagon sum conjecture which says that the sum of the measures of the five interior angles of any pentagon is, what is it one more time? 540. 540 degrees. Okay, so copy that down real quick if you have to. All right, so now we should be able to uh, latch on a little inductive reasoning here. What's the pattern that you might see? We're adding 180 each time, good. So um, 180 plus 180 is 360. 360 plus 180 is 540. 540 plus 180 would give us 720 for any six side figure, okay? Uh, if I add 180 onto that, I get 900. And if I add 180 onto that, I get 1,080, okay? And then the question is, of course, always, what is our uh, formula? So we could just plug in the letter N. Since this is going up by 180 each time, then you know it's going to be 180 N, right? Now if I plug 3 in there for N, I get 540 as an answer, but I want 180, so what do I have to subtract? Minus 360. Okay? So if you go 180 times the number of sides and then subtract 360, then that will give you the uh, total number of degrees inside any polygon, okay? Okay, so uh, at your table group right now, will you please figure out, I wish you guys had the whiteboards again, Will you guys figure out how many degrees total will be in this shape? Add your table groups right now. Okay, uh, yes, this group over here was uh, correct, first ones. The uh, answer here is going to be 1,800. Okay. Why down? Hey, hey. Now there's a little bit easier way to do this math-wise than going 180 times 12 minus 360. Uh, this shape is so big it kind of freaks me out actually. Um, one thing that you can do is you can think in terms of the triangles again. How many triangles am I going to get out of this shape? I'm going to end up with 10, right. And there's a relationship between the number of triangles and the number of sides. This has 12 sides. How many triangles did I get? 10. 10, okay? So then you just go... Uh, and then you just go 10 times 180, which makes the math a little bit easier for you to get 1,800. And um, what happens is the number of triangles is always two less than the number of sides, okay? And so that's one faster way to figure this stuff out, okay? All right, try this one, please. How many degrees? All right, yes, the correct answer is... 
we have here? Eight. Eight. So how many triangles will we get? Eight. Six. So you go six times 180 degrees for each one gives you uh, 1,080 degrees. Okay? All right? Or, again, you can use our original formula. Go 180 times eight and then subtract 360 from that. Okay? Uh, that was pretty obvious. That was going to be 180. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is just this is just sort of what I was talking about. The number of triangles. How many triangles would we get from four sides? Two. How many would we get from three, four, five, six? Okay. So you can look at a simple pattern here. The number of triangles is always going to be the number of sides minus two. And so. A different way that you can do this is figure out how many triangles you will have and then multiply that answer by 180, which you should see if you distribute this 180, if you lose a, use a little bit of algebra, you'll get the same answer that we had before. 180 times n is 180n, 2 times 180 is 360, so you get 180n minus 360, okay? So a couple of different uh, options there. Okay, and so finally then our formula for this is what you should have in your notes. Um, we're going to go both ways. You can go 180N minus 360 or N minus 2 times 180. And I think the second formula, if you can remember it, makes the math a little bit easier to do. Uh, but if you have calculators then you're probably fine either way. Okay? Are we done? Yeah, Susan, get this copy. Harvard, you're an addict.